No, it's two a year, isn't it? No, no worries. Yeah, the little books I think are literally just cut-offs where, where he's um, uh, been asked to trim down books. Yeah. Yeah, ch ch chances are that chances are they were 80-90% already made or already written out and he's just published them as, as a book. You can pop out your character sheet now. Oh, think, great. Yeah, we had a problem last time, didn't we? It was a blank character sheet that appeared. Yeah. That's better. Do you, I do like it with three cameras. Because it's just like, I don't have to do anything. It's, it's, I don't have to mess around moving people around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit that I haven't read Dracula and all the notes that I haven't had time I've been reading other books to be fair yeah I haven't either I um, I found that first page which I thought you know the little addendum at the start I think it was which is very interesting yeah which I don't remember yeah. in the original so I think that's probably an addition although I could be completely wrong I've been finishing off the novels that I've been reading and then a new one came out from one of my favourite authors, then another one and it's like, oh but, uh, no, I haven't read it. Oh damn. Bloody jet lag. Oh right, shall we commence? I say before you joined, Kath, we may not go the entire duration tonight. No, that's fine. Depends how tired I, how how much I can stay awake. See, if you hadn't have been dying so much yesterday and held hours, you'd have had plenty of time to sleep. I need uh, to stay you awake. naysayer. I need to stay awake last night, so because if I don't, I'll go to bed at seven. I, I could do with going to bed right now. I just feel like I want to go to bed, and if I go to bed at now. I'll wake up at stupid o'clock. Yeah. That's a weird thing, just retraining your body back to our time. Yeah. All right. Shall we commence? We shall. Indeed. Let's see if I can remember where we are. Are we live yet, Maddy? Uh, we are, yes. All right. Welcome, gentlemen. Episode three, I believe. Is it three or four? Uh, episode four. Oh, episode four. Okay. Episode four of Night's Black Agent. Uh, last session. So, you had tracked down, well, you, you've got a bunch of 
um, basic information, I think the previous session about yet another body that you found located in 29 Hanbury Street uh, inside a, um, a car park. Um, you know, essentially, you, you, you know that the person was staying at a hotel called the Brick Lane Hotel, which was above a Indian restaurant. You know that they ate at the Indian restaurant at least twice um, and then ended up sort of in a very bad way in this car park you were given or found information on the location of the woman who was supposed to meet you uh, who um, effectively jumped uh, out of the um off the top of the, the car park going to their flat or their house you discovered a bunch of bits of information um let's see you discovered a strange poster or image of a strange bat-like creature uh, you discovered um a sort of an office set up inside the garage which had a box containing some soil. When you examined the soil, some strange worms existed. And above the, the box of soil were some jury rigged uh, sort of ultraviolet lights, which you turned on um, before you started poking around inside the box of soil. Uh, and when you did so, worm-like creatures that kind of came to the surface seemed to disintegrate in the ultraviolet light also on a sort of a chalkboard a court board sorry notice board were photos of yourselves both in situ in kandahar uh, or afghanistan uh, wearing your respective uh, outfits uh, which was a bit surprising to both of you since you know you didn't exist and you were not never there um, and along with some comments about whether or not you could be trusted. Um, information around uh, September 1888, September 2011, are they linked? Paula Teague, Romania connection, dossier to reveal all, must get out ASAP. Numbers, what do they mean? Are they connected? Photo of a bat uh, with the word Edom underlined and question mark, question mark below it. And then does the book hint at reality and not fiction? You also had a laptop. Inside the laptop was very little except a, an MP4 called Numbers, um, which just seems to be a, a rather long um, sort of tune followed by a brief sequence of numbers, and then it repeats. Up in the bedroom, there were, um, by the side of, a, of the bed, was a copy of Bram Stoker's Dracula with a whole lot of annotation in the margins. You also were sort of interrupted by a figure entering into the apartment or into the house wearing a, an Arsenal FC cap pulled down very low, collar of jacket up, trying to hide their face as much as possible. You managed to get yourselves out of the building without being spotted or stopped and headed your way back to um well, i would guess back to where um we went to the pub didn't we where sam would live and to a pub in that vicinity yes and we just dumped the hard drive didn't we and you dumped the hard drive yes so at this point, it's probably sort of after 9.30 in the evening. Well, Mark, Mark let's, get a, let's get a drink first, and then we can, uh, we can go back to mine and see if we can piece together some things here, see what we're going to do next, because that was, those bloody worms were freaky as hell. And, yeah, and that guy coming through there, he, he knew he knew we were there. Well, he knew somebody had been there. He didn't. Yeah, I don't think he knew we were 
specifically there. He didn't know exactly where we were, but or we wouldn't have got out without being well, spotted anyway. You know us, mate. We would have got out of there no matter what. <laughs> yeah, he might not have, but... Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. It's a bit worrying that there's somebody else looking into this as well. Mm. I didn't see him. You could see him. Did you make us any details? Nah, just just what he's wearing, mate. It was the uh, the bomber jacket. I mean, it's all black. It's all all covered up. He, his Arsenal cap. And just, was it, he, oh, I could say it was, it was white and, and clean shaven. I couldn't see anything above the uh, above the, the mouth, really. Just wondering if it was another of our old crew that got roped into it. That, but we haven't seen any photos of them. No, we don't know what the rope's into, do we? No. I think she was open to uh, get us a job by the sounds of it, but... Why just us two, though? I know, but she knew a lot about it. She had those photos. Yeah. Nobody should have those photos. Even we don't have those photos. <laughs> Too bloody true. Well, you have now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not for long, though, mate. There's a good little fire going where they're going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And this this thing about this, this this bird she was on about at the shipping company. It's like she was trying oh, to get her out again. Yeah, it looks like she might have been working for her. And her cover yeah, was blown. Okay. You know about extracting her. Yeah. Very strange. I'll have to look her up, see what she looks like, and then maybe pay a visit to the shipping company. Well, that's in, that's in Rotterdam, isn't it? I thought it was a local one version, wasn't it? No. The... It was checked by her here. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's Rotterdam where, where she was, but it was um, the Whitby place. They did ship from Whitby to, uh, to Rotterdam, didn't they? HGD shipping, that was it. Yeah, but they're registered in Rotterdam, but the puzzle was checked by PT when Sandra picked it up. Yeah, the, so the, the, surely no, that the, would mean that it was over here. No, 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 because because the, the, they'll check it when they put it in the box, mate. You know when you get when you get those things yeah. from uh, from Boots or Amazon or whatever, and they say checked by Bob Smith. You know, just to show he's doing his job properly. Just T doesn't sound like a surname from Rotterdam. No, she doesn't have no, to be. Scottish, she, she, well, she, she could have gone over there. I mean, let's face it, we don't sound Afghanistani, do we? But we went over there. No, true. No, we weren't. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> we'll look her up anyway, find out where she is. Yeah. Might give us a, a clue as to what's going on. Sorry, I yawned. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, okay. let's let's head back to my mate. We've had a pint. Let's 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 go back and uh, see what we can find out about these yeah. these things here. Definitely need to pick up another laptop. Make it easier. Yeah, maybe that could be a job for tomorrow. Well, it's going to be a job for tomorrow. I can't go shopping at this time. No. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to pick up some uh, <clears throat> UV torches while we're out there. Just to be on the safe side. Good. Hello. Do you He's the vampire, up... is he? Yeah, very possibly. Are you going to pick up some UV torches? Yeah. Tomorrow, possibly, yeah. That's a good call, that. With luck, we can kill whatever... Uh, um, if someone tries to infect anyone with us, that might actually be a cure or whatever the hell it is. I'm guessing you thought you were killing insects tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Okay. So you're heading back to um Sam's back to Sam's place. Yeah, no problem. You can get back to Sam's place, that's fine. You probably your pub's probably not too far away from there actually. So getting back to Sam's place, you can settle down for the evening. Uh, dig into anything that you want to dig into this evening whilst you uh, can before you head to sleep. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do the search on here, mate, for uh, for tea, see if you find any anything about her online. Okay. Yeah, I was just checking what the internet speeds were like in 2011, see whether or not multiple uh, PCs on the network would actually yeah. be feasible. Yeah, it's, it's not too far from where we are now, to be fair. Yeah. Well, it's miles from what I am, but... Uh, uh, did we look, look up fatigue? I can't remember. Did you look up T. No, you haven't done. No. Right. Okay. I want to see if I can find out where she is, as in country. Uh, is she working in Rotterdam or is she in one of the other offices? Because they're all over the place, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can try and track down. Her. Check on the corporate website for GD shipping first. See if they've got a uh, like contact list or something like that. Okay. Um, give me a computer roll, please. Yeah. I shall try. Not brilliant, that's it. That is definitely getting a reroll. Uh, yeah, don't forget to reset your look. Yeah, I think you did it because I've already got four points. I've that down to four. <laughs> yeah, nine um, percent lower. Yeah. So you pull up HGD. Yeah, you pull up HGD. HGD shipping. Um. There isn't really any information about employees below sort of the CEO, chief revenue officer, sort of the, the head of sales, head of marketing, HR, and that's about it. There's no sort of user, public user directory, um, and, and that's kind of like the limit of your experience. Um, right. so, so do they do those titles have names next to them? So we know that she's not one of that. Uh, yes, yes, and she is not, and there is no Teague mentioned at any of the senior positions that are listed on the website. Okay. Um, okay, go back to uh, LinkedIn. Okay. See if there's anything under the her name associated with that company on that. I don't just think I'm just looking for something and I've lost it. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Oh, we didn't do XP, did we? No, we just say this we're not going to do XP every session. Right, okay. Yeah. That because computers is one of the things I'm definitely gonna be investing in. Yeah, with, with things like with skills, like that, it would take time to build this up, so that would be a downtime yeah. between missions, sort of thing. Yeah, the computers I'm trying that often lately, I'm failing that often, I'm learning things <laughs> yeah. slowly, yeah. but yeah, look at it being like uh, other systems at tick box where you say that's you've used their skills, so I always like that system. Sorry about that. I was looking for a book and I didn't know I'd put it somewhere. I couldn't have put it. <laughs> okay. So. Um, LinkedIn. Um, search for her name. And if any come up, see if there's any of them associated with the shipping company to show, show that she's 
working for or worked for if she's even on there so it's possible she's not there are probably a, a a small number of teagues listed but doesn't appear to be one uh, that is a p teague anything something p teague no nothing okay. have you have you tried that book face thing that was facebook that's it not yet i thought checking something that i can the problem with facebook is i won't know whether it's the right one whereas if i could find it's on linkedin and then tie it to the name i'd have an idea it's the right one yes you haven't um you haven't seen her uh, have you no i don't know what she looks like we don't know anything about her apart from her name ah, don't we just ch check on facebook i mean let's face it what young ladies these days don't go on there yeah right, i'll have a i'll have a look on there as well then do you want me to give you a hand I'll, I'll, I'll... yeah hey you show me how it's done what do i need to do well, that's just you just type in PT or Teague and then match it up. And then don't don't put you. I'll put UK and then maybe uh, spell it out to other places. But yeah, let's have let's have a go, mate. Okay. Oh, what's that? Forty six. Oh, sorry, fifty four. So fifty. And you could get a standard success if you. I was going to say I'm going to. I was going to flip it. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a pretty good success. Okay. Uh, and what were you looking for? Um, I was looking oh. on Facebook for for PT just to see if I can find anything uh, on there. I mean, I'm hoping that I'll go through the teagues that are on there and see where the photos are. If I can link it to Rotterdam or to Whitby or. Yeah. Okay. Um. There is. A photo of a late, sorry, late, nah, late twenties, early thirties woman. Um, she's got dark hair. She's quite slim, um, quite demure in her dress sense. Hold on. Uh, quite demure in her, her dress. Um. Her hair is probably more of a bob than a than like long hair. Um, no sign of earrings or anything like that. Uh, probably bluish coloured eyes. Um, she there's there's a series of of um, photographs. The first one appears to be. Um, let's have a look. The first one appears to be of a woman that is um, on a um, sort of on a small harbour area with a lighthouse at the end um, and kind of looking backwards and, and just in the corner of the sort of the corner of the image from where she's uh, where she is <coughs> second let's see if I can get you a picture you can see, hmm, wow, where did that picture go? Uh, let me give you this image. Um, yeah, so you can see that there are a bunch of quite nice houses, kind of whitewashed houses, red brick houses, red roof houses, uh, and then up on a hill, at the top of the hill appears to be a set of ruins and a church in front of the ruins. Um, I can do this really quickly. You never know what you guys are going to look for, so I never quite yeah have all the <laughs> have all the images and things that you might want. So we're going to search only fans next. <laughs> right. and get a critical success. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look rolls. Can you only? Use them one per all. One per task. Per point. Yeah, those are. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, otherwise, I'd have been able to reverse my eighty-one to eighteen and get yeah. a really good result. But yeah. I thought it was only once. 
There's nothing more frustrating than that happening. It's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thing we are <coughs> there. Oh, oh, what the? That hints that I was right. She's in the UK. The second, no, no, she's taking a the photo there. <laughs> the <laughs> second <laughs> image is outside of a hotel um no sorry hang on outside of a um a yeah outside of a building what appears to be on a high street and it is um let's have a quick look you can see a sign that says Billington and Sons. Why does that name ring a bell to me? The third picture of her is uh, eating fish and chips on the seafront of Whitby. Um, does it say what this sign of Billington and Southern does, or is it just a, a sign that says that? Just a, sign. Just a nice uh, sign. Well, actually, no, it will say solicitors underneath it. Oh. It's not that one, then. One in Bolton. That's um, Steelworks, isn't it? Something. Am I wrong by Bolton saying that? Sons, uh... I don't know. I put in solicitors, and that's what came up. So, yeah. yeah. But that is not a solicitors. That's on about sugar again. No, I've got Edward Billington and Sons, and that's um, Liverpool. Our registered yeah. office is Liverpool. Yeah, that's also uh, a shipping company. Um, there is no reference of a Billington and Sons on the internet. Oh, not even on like company's house. If you search company's house, you will find reference to a Billington and Sons based in um Whitby that are a small law firm. Oh, it's a shame it's not the one I found here that started in 1898. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that I was looking at. 1898. The Billington Group was originally uh Edward Billington and Sons. Yeah, Cunard Building Liverpool, that's a registered office anyway. And you'd be happy to know their accounts are made up. <laughs> Oh. 
So far, all the clues we found from your searches point to her being in the UK. Mm. Probably Whitby area. How far away is Whitby from us? It's up in the northeast, isn't it? Yorkshire, mate. I have, no I have to get our passports to go past the Watford Gap. <laughs> you will. Well, they, well, they allow a Welsh passport in. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, all the sheep they go up there, be like oh. a, an home for home for you, mate. Hey, hey. Of course, it's Yorkshire. If it was from Lancashire, they wouldn't let you in, but Yorkshire, they might. Just just to go back, mate, Zarina Catherine, that was the name of that boat, wasn't it? Yeah. That's on that ships to Whitby. Yeah, the ship out from uh, the Black Sea, v Vera, Bulgaria, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah the invoice was from three weeks ago for that. That's all I've got on here for. Uh, what's more interesting, mate, is that, that this book that we found. Yeah. That that's, that goes on about that, that, this is going to sound really bloody stupid, and and but that's all about shipping from Whitby to out that way. A bit of a bloody book, mate. It's it's a story. Kind of implies that they smuggled him from there to here. Maybe it's another book he's, she was going to write or something. Don't know. Yeah, it sounds feasible. And the smuggling part, not the smug smuggler, mate. Whoever. The book implies that's who was smuggling. Uh, did it actually give his name? Have you never read? You see no films about it. About this, it's, it's fiction, mate. It's Dracula. Yeah. It's yeah, Stoker, it's made, no, it's made no, up, that's, mate. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. It's like they're using this, uh, possibly writing another book based on it, but using it. Saying that they smuggled him in. Well, why not? Write another book. If this one was so, still so famous now, could always write another book. It's a classic, right? Yeah. I've never actually read it. I need to. Uh, if she went there for research purposes for her own book or whatever she was doing there. There might be more clues there. And it looks like from what you've just found, peaks around that area as well. Maybe she was giving ideas for the book. I'm just clutching at straws here. Uh, he obviously thought that she needed rescuing from something. I'm, I'm still trying to get over the fact you've never seen Dracula the film. Oh, I've seen it. the film. I've not read the books. Oh. But the films are never as good as the books. So I need to read the book. Oh, I don't know. That one with... Um, who was it? It wasn't Johnny Depp. What was his name? It'll come to me. Anyway, right, I, I digress. 
I'm, by the way, I'm, just, I'm just listening to you to chew the fat, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all clues are pointing towards Whitby anyway. Well, yeah, it'd be nice to go up there. Uh, but there's no point going up there unless we know what we're looking for and if she's still there. I mean, we, yeah. we, we, could, we could try well, to the shipping place, but we need to find out where she lives, really. Yeah, but we could check out the shipping company anyway, because there's parcels come. We don't know what the parcel is. Um, it was this box, mate. There was a box back there. That was a parcel. That was a package. Oh, of course. It was, it was back with all those bloody weird worms in it. Why would she get those shipped? Well, she's soil, isn't it? Maybe they, they got can, contaminated soil. Maybe she was doing a tomato patch on a balcony. But it's strange because, I mean, if it's come from... Where did, where, where did it say it's come from? It was checked then over here by Teague. If, if we were assuming she, she did it in here then. But then there was that card with Romania on it, wasn't there? Yeah. But that wasn't with the parcel. That was something separate that we found out by the car. That was in mm. the car. Well, exactly. But then the, the shipping invoice was in the car, wasn't it, as well? Uh, I think so. It's either in the car or under the car. No, it was in the car. It was, it was in a bag, wasn't it? It was in a bag, yeah. Yeah. So, 8th of August, which is what, three weeks? No, not three weeks ago. What am I saying? Yeah, three weeks ago. Yeah. That was the last time that Cassandra was around here going off her post. Yeah. When did you get that email? That was only the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, same time as you. Maybe uh, that's what she was doing. Cassandra was hiring us to help her rescue this peak teague yeah but then you got another message didn't you after she died no someone tried to phone me mm. from her phone or maybe she tried to phone me before she died now what if she didn't jump oh she's calling for help See, she hired us. She knew who we were or what we did. If she hired us to rescue Teague and then got into trouble herself on the car park and tried to call us to get her help there, it was just too late. Yeah, somebody found out what she was looking into. Yeah. She seems to have a, a pretty uh, savvy way of uh, doing her research. And that... Question. Uh, so I've got these photos. These photos I took of this, um, that pin board. Yeah. See, the question is, if whoever found out what she was doing, found out we were involved, they may be coming for us as well. Well, that, that's why I took all this stuff off the board, mate. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking... They already knew about us before. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't know. So we need to keep an eye out. And that's a point. Well, I'm going to ask us. the police station, aren't I? Oh. <laughs> kind of, I want to yeah. picture all over the blowing news if we're well, going asking questions. Especially if we're going up north. It's like you're, it's like yeah. you're legging place, mate. You, you, yeah, you, you exactly. Did a it's got to look. Really suspicious, that isn't it? Just when you go there, just tell them that uh, you, you're going up north for a, for a little small vacation. If they need to contact you, you'll be in Whitney. Whit Whitby, sorry. And yeah. just give me your phone number. I'll give, give my phone burner. Number. Yeah, your burner number. Yeah, I'll go tomorrow morning. The package slip that we got, does it have any um, serial numbers or anything on it? 
the package. The package slip. You know the. No. Uh, the box was off. Right. Okay. No. I'm trying, just wonder if those numbers tied in with it in any way. No. Okay, well, you can head off to bed, take a night's rest, wake up in the morning. I think that's a sensible idea. Yeah, not much else we can do tonight. Uh, it's almost like I'm, I'm, I'm missing something, mate. It's something I've got a little itch at the back of the head, but I can't think of what it is. You're not missing anything, but you're also not necessarily thinking of all the things you could be exploring. Hmm. Most of it, I am guessing, is going to involve computers or something for research. So, Not necessarily. So there's a couple of things that you've got. Let's kind of walk through the clues a little bit so you've got some idea of maybe what's what's important and what's not important right now. You were contacted by an unknown individual calling themselves Hopkins, who presumably, according to the police at least, threw themselves off the top of a um, multi-story car park just after them they uh, they rung one of your numbers but that was cut off subsequent to that you had an email pointing to hanbury street where you find another body or a body should i say grace in hopkins you're able to go to their house and you discovered a bunch of things pointing to Interesting in yourself or yourselves. Questioning whether or not you're trustworthy. Oh, excuse me. And a bunch of other, other bits of information. Some of that information appears to point to something in Romania. And other bits of that information, such as the, um, the shipping slip, the packaging slip, the crate points to a company called HGD Logistics, which seem to have an operation or headquarters in Rotterdam and an operation out of Whitby. You have a reference to a PT and that PT, a couple of things is, can we get her, you know, need to get her out was one of the comments on the board. But equally, you seem to have photos of Teague or at least somebody called Teague up in Whitby and that's about it now the question you have to ask is what's the most pressing thing to investigate is it Whitby is it the strange you know is it Hopkins throwing themselves off the top of the car park is it the body who you were also pointed to on Hanbury Street That's true. Why, 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 why would somebody send you an email about going to Hanbury Street and find that body? I don't know, but is it the, is just... it the way she died? Is it is it is it linked to Hopkins? I might be going off on a complete tangent here. The we found Cassandra on Facebook, didn't we? You did. Can we look at her friends list on Facebook to see if there's any other names that jump out to us, like a Hopkins 
that she might be working with, because her name's not Hopkins, or Teague. with the Teagues on there, or even um, Zenia Prasad. See if any of them have been in contact with each other or done as friends or some associates yeah. on Facebook. Um, no. Yes, you can. Uh, that's not me saying no, you can't. Yes, you can absolutely do that. And you can spend some time in the morning, you know, whilst you're eating breakfast to, you know, dig into that and see what you can find out. Um, but there's no link. There, there doesn't appear to be any link between the three individuals that you can see. Any mentions of the word Hopkins on her profile? No. As to where that name's come from? Nope. Okay. Could have just been chosen at random, but. Um... Uh, I'd like to um, give. Uh, uh, you need a clue. I think you need a clue to try and help you consolidate what you've got. So, can you both give me. Uh, I'm going to be really generous here. Can you both give me straight up intelligence? Um, give me locale rolls. Please. Oh, God. You're asking now, aren't you? <laughs> I can't even flip it. Uh... Um, I'd, I'll flip mine, if that's okay. okay. Um, it's not quite a critical, I don't think. So I'm not going to give you the oh, answer. It is, it is a crit, actually, four. Does four become a crit? Yeah. Herculean. Okay. Right, so I'm going to point you at a photo that you've already seen. And given the fact that you've got a crit, I'm going to let you ask me three questions that are yes or no questions related to that photo um, to try and help you understand a clue. What understand your color? Something. Let me just find the photo for a second. So it is this photo here. No, we. It is this photo here. See, last session I rolled really well, so it's paid me back this week. If you remember, this is the the front entrance to the International Maritime Organization. Oh, I've not got a photo. No, I haven't. I thought he'd somehow shared it just to you because you made the roll. Oh, yes. So that is a photo that, Sam, it's bugging you. There's something about that photo and about the location where it was taken that is bugging you. Now, if you remember, I said it was she, taken. She was on um, the bank, wasn't she? She was on the riverside, yes. And this is the south bank of the Thames. Because we looked across, didn't we, to see the building that was behind her. You could the, just the see, yes. So as you were looking at her, on her, what would have been her um, right-hand side, you could just make out the prow of the ship just on the edge of the photo, which led you to believe that she was stood in the vicinity of the IMO. Hmm. Now, that is a very specific location. So take a look at Google Maps, at the location of the IMO, and what else is nearby. And you can ask me three questions. I forgot to bring this on here now, which is good.
Right, okay, so I've got the map up there. So just bear with me while I um, link no, that's this. That's fine. I just want to put on the stream. There we go. Right, so opposite. Ba, ba, ba. So it's taken right near the bus stop, wasn't it? Was facing that way, so what's behind her? What's she taking? Up? Let's have a look at the next piece. Use Google rather than Bing. You have one other clue related to that area, well, to, to her. And that was the name of a pub she was drinking at. At least I believe you've got that. No. No, I don't think so. Or was that when she was talking about, um, was it a post about gin and tonics and things? Let's have a look. Right. Do you know what? I don't... It wasn't a Marcus of Granbury. I'm the, oh, Marcus of Granbury. There we go. Uh, vodka Marcus lime Granbury. soda. There you go. You see, you did have the name of the pub. I didn't. So whereabouts is that? The Marcus of Granbury. I had it a minute ago. I've lost the Marcus of Granby. Oh, yeah. I've got it here, I think. Oh, there's two of them. The buggers. Right, the closest one to the maritime is giving me a new cross road and park near Parkfield. Let's drop my little man on there. Right, okay, so that's here. Marcus Granby right in the corner. Look, it's very John Wick looking. Yeah, it, it's one of those buildings that's um, got two roads going down either side and comes to a point at the end. So if I go back to 2008, isn't it? Or 2008. What road have you got it on? Um, I've got it on... In Bradley Street, I've got it on. 
Well, there's two. I've got the one closest to the maritime. This one's not far from there. Which is New Cross, near New Cross Station. It's on um, Rap. And then Bradley Street, uh, Romney Street. Yeah, it's on the corner of those two, the one I'm looking at. What's it shaped like? It's on the corner. So, Mine's on Lewisham gold, Way. Gold, gold and black colouring. Um, Right, let me go to the other one then. Right, so mine's on mine's New Cross Road. That's where where the one I'm looking at is. Uh, the other one. Street. Oh. Rathbone Street, by any chance? Yeah. Uh, Bradley Street and Romney Street, corner off. Oh, so Granby. Yeah. G R A N B Y. Yeah. Okay. Same name. There's be loads of them. There are loads of them. And that again you is. Need to decide, you need to decide which one is relevant. Right, this one. Uh, let's see. What was the oh, big yeah. thing about the pub we're into, the, the, the last one we went to, the, um, the Jack the Ripper one, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was. It's Coxon Way. No, that's her address. Yeah, she was in. No, sorry, wrong one. Uh... Yeah, I can't find her in a minute. Just trying to. Paths finding of the one on Dean Bradley Street is the correct Marquis of Granby. On Romney Street? Yes. Ah. It's on the corner of Romney Street and Dean Bradley Street, and that is the correct hub. Right, let me wind the time back to 2010. Yeah, there's a 2008 on there. Okay, she was having drinks there. Um, no, it so where's the oh there's a the cutty sarks so it must be on there a maritime that's a fair old trek away from the maritime ah. not really Because the other markets of Granby is literally just 
Yeah, so much closer. It's like a, a, a ten minute walk away. But right, so what's peculiar about this one then? And the difference between the two is point four miles, which means it would take you about ten minutes to walk from the International Maritime Organization to the Marquis of Granby on Romney Street, on the corner of Romney Street and Dean Bradley Street. God, it looks so much further. I know that doesn't drink, and I actually managed to find. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah, possibly. Because nobody's had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> See, the pub's been around, looking at it, from like 450 years. Uh, doesn't say a whole lot of history about it. Uh, we are one of many historic pubs named after the Marquis of Granby, an 18th century war hero who was known for rewarding officers from his own pocket. Some of these beneficiaries set themselves set themselves up as publicans, naming their inns in his honour. Uh... Still taking me out that bloody maritime picture, though. So she was there. Yeah. She was in a park as well, which was next to a house, wasn't it? The park. Top yeah. Of my, yeah. So yeah, you know that. Real. You've discovered that. Yeah. See, the questions are about the picture rather than. No. The location. Locations. So think about the location. There's a couple of things in that area that may be of interest to you right. if if you were to draw You're westminster abbey right draw a triangle between... i was thinking about doing that you know but i didn't between vauxhall vauxhall bridge lambeth and the marquis of granbury granby and look at what's encompassed inside that triangle Where's Foxhall? Foxhall Bridge Strode. Sorry, Kath, help me out here. Uh, to the south of the Maritime Museum, there's a Vauxhall Bridge Road. I've got Vauxhall Estate Climbing Centre. Vauxhall West Climbing Centre. <laughs> There's loads of Vauxhalls around there. Yeah. So that vicinity. So from between that area up to Lambeth Bridge, across to your Marquis of Granby, draw a triangle. What's inside that triangle? Was Mr. London Curio, uh, Millbank Tower, Millbank Pier, Tip Publishing. There are two buildings specifically that would be pertinent to this. When you see them, it's obvious. There's a Tate in between that. The Tate is in between that. Tate Britain is in between that, yeah. Yeah. So is uh, the Embassy of Lithuania, technically. Oh, it's just oh. on the outside. Millbank, Prism, Blue Plaque. Oh, Medi? Yeah, Lithuania. No. No. Oh, so you thought I discovered something now? I'm still trying to find where my triangle ends and starts. Well, I would say not a triangle. I would draw a sort of a pseudo square from Vauxhall to Pimlico to Romney and Bradwell and back to the IMO. And it's two distinct buildings inside that area 
that would pique your character's interest. They both are three-lettered buildings. And that's the only clues I'm giving you. This is where I want a real map so I can get... Because move the bloody map uh, around the no, business, don't we? Am I six? Vauxhall to Pimlico. There's a super intelligence service down there by Vauxhall for MI6. There is. Oh, the embankment, yeah. And look what's across the river. Just near Lambeth Bridge. Burberry HQ is behind. Yes. So we've got MI5 and MI6. Correct. You have probably dealt with MI6 and you would know that MI6 operatives never go by their real name. They go by Okay. Mm. Okay. Now I don't know how that's going to help you, but that's the clue you were missing. Do you know what completely oh, threw me clue off? You were missing. I was looking at the IMO, but I was absolutely miles away because there's another maritime. Museum it wasn't a maritime museum, it's the International Maritime Organization. Yeah, that's what I was looking at with the one with the Cutty Sark. Yeah, you were really far away. I was really far away, but I did find a Marcus of Granby next to it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you were confused. That's why I was confused. I should get a triangle from there to there, and it's right over there. Yes, brilliant. So Going back to the original map, if I look across the road, yeah, that is, I should have recognised that building, you know, because I've been there. <laughs> See, I don't know any of that area whatsoever. No. I've never no, I been know. there. It's difficult when you don't know the area. It's really, yeah. really hard. Yeah. It's like you and Amy, between there, 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 and there. It's like, okay, where the hell are they? Yeah. Uh, Frantically looking for them. Also, I've actually, got, I've actually got the map up in front of me as well, so I was staring at it and trying to trying to help you focus yeah. it. Okay, so, and it helps how far zoomed in you are as well, because MI six disappears as you zoom out a bit. Correct, it does. It's the fact that I knew it was in the area, so I searched for it. So I've got a pin dropped on it, yeah. um, but without the pin, it doesn't. I don't think it shows the name. Yeah, it does. Um, and and this I... is purely for the purposes of the game, if anybody is listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reality, no um, resemblance to anybody uh, of, of real. You know, I don't want a Hopkins yeah, but, from MI6. Yeah. But if, my door if we did want to look, get in there... Unless that Hopkins <laughs> is a vampire, in which case, please do get in touch if we're interested. Yeah. Um, Right, okay. So, you, so, uh, so she... you, you wouldn't necessarily... So how would, you, how would you arrive at that as interesting? The fact that the two photos, one of her outside the IMO and one where she's kind of talking about gin and tonic in the Marquis of Granbury, happen to be two locations that are very close to both of those security services. Mm. The second thing is you find a Romania card in her car, which yeah. is weird, but not if you're an MI6 operative of some kind that mm, perhaps exactly. has Romania or Eastern Europe under your remit. And yeah. also the fact that she knows a hell of a lot about us. Yeah, well, she's able to get contact us. Yes. Yeah, she's got access to the both top secret. Well, she's, yeah, she access to resources that uh, an ordinary yeah. person wouldn't have.
The second, the other thing oh, you need to start thinking about is getting access to things like CCTV footage of areas and how to yeah. go about that. Remember, you have a pool of points that you can convert yeah. into a into a um, uh, a contact or into a cover. Yeah. Sounded like we need a contact in my sex. They can get us so much information, like cameras and things. Well, we need to think about that bloke that we worked with in Afghanistan. Dave. Dave. Hey, Do, Do, Dodgy Dave. Dutch Dave, they call Dutch him, because Dave. whenever you were out drinking, he always insisted that you went Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch Dave from Dagenham. Okay, so that's 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 good. Uh, yeah, if 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 we get if we do get hold of CCTV. Sorry, excuse me. Um, it'd be nice to find out. I mean, we were going to try to go to that, that apartment building across from the car park, weren't we? Where she jumped from. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. As much as potentially you're, you're hampering yourself by not... Using resources. Yes, by not yeah. using your own resources. And I appreciate... Yeah. That your 300 points or whatever, it's only a finite, finite amount. But if you've got the right contacts in the right places, you know, you both don't need to spend, right? One of you mm. could have contact, yeah. um, et cetera. So bear that in mind. And, or alternatively, you've got a, a, um, a fake ID, a cover ID that you can use that could gain you access to something. Right. Yeah, we also need to find out about this bloody worm that we took the, the, the video of. Yeah, so could do with something like a not to get scientists from the some sort. first thing though. Yeah, scientists that's either a chemist or biologist or something for the residue that's in that vial or whatever we found. And though we haven't got any evidence of the grubs because we burnt them. No, we do, mate. I took a video when you took the lid off. When you were yeah. poking around, one came up and it went poof. Yeah. Well, and then the, the, then the bloody light flickered and gave me the willies. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we go asking around anywhere, I need to knock this police issue on the head. Yeah. Definitely don't want to go asking uh, questions and then they turn up because somebody's phoned in that they've seen me or something stupid like that. So uh, what what I'd like to do after, after he leaves the apartment is to bring up the police and say I've seen him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get a taxi there, but if I can get a, an actual chauffeur driven car by the police, then it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, ignore that! I didn't mean to do that. It's all right. I was looking there, so I didn't see anything on that. It disappeared. Uh, I'm gonna head to the police station that we went to before with the officer Johnson. Okay. Yep. Yep. See, I didn't go in last time. But maybe it would have been easier if I'd have turned up with you inside the actual thing. But, yeah. Okay. So you head out. Are you both going or just one of you? Um, safety in numbers, I think. Okay. So you both head out to the police station. Um, it's the closest police station to um, to the... Up. Yeah, to the ten bells. Yeah, to the ten bells. Um, you head in. There is a sergeant on the desk. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, gentlemen. How may I help you? Um, not quite sure where what's going on, but uh, you put up my photo on 
uh, the TV for people to contact it in case they see me regarding something. Hmm. Uh, um, I want to try and get it cleared up. Oh, okay. Well, very unusual. Um, yeah. uh, gentlemen, uh, and, and you are, sir? Oh, I'm just uh, a bike, mate. Oh, yeah, you were told to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm Sam McCree. Uh, it could be something to do with a uh, lady no, that jumped no, off a no, you're not. back. You're, you're Mark, we got right. talking with a Officer Johnson that night. Ah, uh, okay. Um, bear with me a second. Was... And um, he says, take, "Take a seat." And he points to a couple of sort of plastic seats at the at the front. Okay. Um, and uh, he picks up the phone and kind of shields his mouth a little bit and starts talking to it. And he, he every so often he's glancing over at you. And yes, yes, yeah, okay. Um, uh, gentlemen. Um, well. Yeah, I know I got the name wrong. <laughs> I was reading it on my uh, sheets rather than on my character sheet. I gave the wrong name out. Uh, if you'd like to f- follow this officer, and uh, an officer steps out from one of the back rooms, uh, he'll take you to one of the um, um, uh, interview rooms where... Um, the relevant officer will come down and, and have a chat. Okay. If you could get in touch with Officer Johnson, uh, badge number 50737, he can verify that I've spoken to somebody nearby, is what I was thinking. Help okay. clear this up a little bit faster, and I'll follow the officer. Yeah. What was the badge number again? 50737. Takes you down yeah, a short on. corridor uh, and into a um, yeah, just says interview room one, and he opens the door and kind of inside is a small table, or a table with uh, a bit of recording equipment at the back, um, a couple of chairs your side, one chair on the other side nearest the door, um, and he just says, um, "Gentlemen, please take a seat over there. Uh, the officer will be with you shortly." Are we both there or just me? Both of you, I so assume. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering interview room whether it's like an interrogation room and we'll just take one person in and um Yeah, there's usually two chairs. One would be yeah. for you and one would be for your sort of solicitor, I guess, or your representative. Yeah. So it's it but it is an interrogation room, yes, absolutely. Um you kept waiting for about ten minutes. The door opens and in steps a um plain clothed man wearing um wearing a pair of jeans and a jacket. Do we recognize him? I don't know if you give me perception checks, but I'm looking for hard. <laughs> My check pulls tonight. Not like that. Right, let's re-roll that. I just made it. Uh, not done my luck points, typically. Yeah. Um, look at that. You make it. Just. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's very good. Okay. It's a shame you can't use another point and reverse it and make it one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's the um, physical? The uh, come in, you recognise the walk. It is the man that you saw in Hopkins' <laughs> house oh. last night. See, I, I didn't see him, did I? So I couldn't have made that. I was behind the door. It was only... Uh... Mm. My okay. Concern. Yeah, I thought you'd both seen it. Not, not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so you can pull yourself a point of look back then, since you're right, you wouldn't have seen it. 
Um, yeah, Sam, you recognize it as the, you recognize the individual's gait and style of walk mm. as very similar to the individual that you saw yesterday. Right, I, I won't let on. I'll just uh, I'll just keep quiet. Um, he's got a bundle of papers under his hand, and he kind of comes in and he sits down and puts it down. There. Gentlemen, um, well, uh, my name is um, James. James Alexander, um, I'm a detective here uh, investigating the um, unfortunate events of two nights ago. Um, a, a lady we have come to know to 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 know as Cassandra. Um, did we ever get to her surname? We've got it. Yeah. Irwin. Let me see how far I go. Back. Irwin. Cassandra yeah. Irwin. That's right. Correct. Yes. Um, yeah, investigating the uh, unfortunate events of um, uh, the death of a, a a Cassandra Irwin a couple of nights ago. Um, according to our records, she contacted a a, a number. And we believe that um, that number belongs to, uh, and, and he kind of looks at, at you. Mark and says uh, belongs to yourself, uh, and and yes, we've corroborated this with um, Officer Johnson, um, but really this is more of a an informal chat. Uh, we just want to understand a bit more about the relationship that you had with Miss Irwin, um, and in particular if she um, left a message for you or you knew why why she was trying to contact you. I never met the woman, never spoke to the woman. Uh, phone rang, hung up. I never got to speak to anyone on the other end of the phone. So I honestly couldn't tell you anything about her that could actually help you. I'm sorry, I was in the pub at the time that the phone rang. So you've never met Miss Irwin? Not to my knowledge. You what about have her? you got a, have you what got about her? sorry, go on. Have you got a photo of her? Because we uh, never met. Yeah, he pulls out a photo um from the pile of uh letters and sure enough it is this photo. I keep seeing that one key eye. I know. You keep that wonky eye. I know. I know. Ignore the wonky eye. <laughs> Put your finger over it, and you won't see it. <laughs> That's how you know it was generated by AI and not drawn by me, or not a real photo. Um, but it's it's although not wearing the red hoodie, um, it is exactly the same woman that you um had the photo of in your original thing. Um, hmm, so, so you've definitely not met this woman before. What about her no. partner? She had a partner. Well, we believe she did. Yes. Um, we're not quite sure on his name currently. We believe it may be Tate, Mister Tate. Um, <clears throat> would you know a Tate? No. I'll set them to course of my head. Um, just frantically look through my notes, see if the name doesn't ring a bell off the top of my head. It's not a name you've come no. across. No. No. Okay. No, I've never spoken to her, never heard of a Tate. Could it have been a wrong number that she was phoning? Well, this is what we're trying to um, trying to establish. So you you had no, um, you had no planned visit meet with uh, Miss Irwin. No, you you can check my uh, phone records to see if she's ever phoned me before. We can certainly do that. Um, 
Do you have not seen this woman before? Never in my life. Okay. Um, and you were definitely not present when she when she fell. No, I was in the pub. We. I, I can vouch for that, we, officer. Yeah. We were having a drink and we heard the commotion outside. I had a phone call. Nobody on the, the, the other end. Next, we hear a commotion outside. I assume that's when she jumped, but no, I was in the pub at the time. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your help. If you, and he kind of slides over his card and it sort of has his name on there. Um, if you think of anything or if uh, a Mr. Tate contacts you, I'd be really appreciative if you could let me know. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, yes. Do you mind if I ask what this is regarding? Don't you think if she jumped? She had a number of sensitive bits of information upon her person when she jumped. Um, and whilst most of it was destroyed in the... Um, and then he kind of stopped himself. Um, yes, so she had, she had uh, information on her that she, she probably shouldn't have had. And we're trying to figure out whether she was selling that information... Perhaps to a foreign national, or whether she was going to use it to blackmail somebody. Um, we're just trying to understand Miss Irwin and, and, and perhaps her state of mind when she jumped. That, that's okay. quite interesting. Um, uh, officer, is it? Or uh, no, no, just just detective. The detective. Surely that sort of thing would be handled by. Like home office. Well, it's just all part of our general inquiries, sir. Yeah. Okay, so where did my picture come from on it? You just published it because of the phone number, rather than actually phoning me on the number. Well, we, we weren't sure whether you were a person of interest or a dangerous person of interest or indeed just a a random happenstance i think based on your questions and our, our, our answers uh, your answers and uh, to my questions i think perhaps a random happenstance unless of course you're not telling me the truth in which case i would consider you a person of interest is it dangerous no not at all it's the strange thing of not actually trying to phone me first, and if I didn't answer, then possibly putting my picture out. He just instantly jumped to put my picture out and well, potentially cause all sorts of inconveniences for, for me. This is this is indeed um, this is indeed true. Um, but I was curious to see whether you would perhaps come in voluntarily, which you clearly have done. Yeah, it's just lucky I happened to be watching TV when the uh, picture came up. It, it, it's all right, mate. I'm sure we can uh, we can talk to a lawyer about this. There must be some law against that. Yeah. Hey, where there's a blame, there's a claim. Good point. Well, I'm sure if that's what you want to do, uh, I'm sure you can find a solicitor who would uh, quite happily take up the case. There are several, of course. Now, if you don't mind, um, I will have an officer come and um, escort you back outside. And uh, please pull down the photo from the TV. I don't want to get oh, accosted no by... Not a problem. We can definitely do that. Um, okay. And in fact, I'm sure we can put out a message to say that we've eliminated you from all of our inquiries. Um, which will definitely help you in, uh, yes. in due course. Um, he slides the photo back into his kind of envelope. 
uh, into his kind of folder, picks oh. it up, tucks it under his arm, heads to the door, hand on the door. Door starts to open. Oh, he's doing a he's doing a clue so not clue so what's he called? Uh, Columbo. He opens the door, walks through, closes the door behind him. Oh. I was wanting to see if you wanted to ask him something. You said as though you were going to ask him Yeah, something. I was going to ask him uh, while the folder was on the table if there's anything I could see in it. Um, give, me a, give me a perception check. It needs to be hard. Yeah, I was wondering if there was anything on the photo that... Formidable. I've got all your rolls, haven't I? You are doing yeah. very well. Shit hot tonight. I'm going to die on Thursday. Yeah, see, I'm... Not doing just shit. The, I'm just doing the shit part. And there is a still photo. Looks a little grainy. Possibly from a CCTV of what appears to be a large black dog. Oh. So that'll be on top of the roof. Yeah. On top of, and it does look like you can see, you can see what appears to be a couple of cars in the distance, and this photo of this dog kind of looking slightly over its shoulder, bright yellow eyes as it's kind of looking over its shoulder, um, not quite towards the CCTV camera, but it seems to be kind of coming out of a of a doorway. So the photo was just of the dog, not her with the dog. Nope, just of the dog. Okay. Jesus, it's nice to put a paw print to a, to a face. Yeah. Um, you got formidable, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. By the way, I'm just going to push this to nine o'clock, and then I'm going to call it there because I'm starting to fade. Yeah. Um, the dog would be at least Alsatian size, but it was not an Alsatian. You could mistake it for a wolf. Right. Okay, so it's long haired type of. It's a long haired but... dog, yeah. Okay. So yeah, in my head, I had like Bar Guest type of thing, yeah. like a Rottweiler type of. Yeah. I don't that remember. kind of size. But yeah. with more wolf like long hair. Okay. We really do need to. Well, we won't talk here, but once we're at the police station, I'll say we really need to get hold of some CCTV around what happened on that roof. The door opens and an officer comes in, um, takes his hat off, puts it back, says, Now, gentlemen, um, I understand one of you has come in to answer some questions voluntarily. Well, we just spoken to a detective, James Alexander. He's who? James Alexander, he gave his name as. I hope you've got <laughs> cameras inside this place because they've just walked into the room, uh, questioned me and then walked out. Are you saying somebody's already been and he yes. kind of pulled out his notebook and he looks at it? I, I know it's been a while and, and I apologize for keeping you waiting, but no, I'm 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 um Chief Inspector uh, sorry, I'm Inspector Collins. Mark Collins. Well, Mr. Collins, I'm sorry, but we've just had a, a guy called uh, one of your colleagues uh called Detective James Alexander came in here and asked my friend questions. And they had a file about a woman that jumped? In fact, he gave us a bit of information, which I'm fairly sure he shouldn't have done. So you've got somebody in your police station at the moment, unless you can get out within five minutes. Um, that's walking around with some sensitive material and has questioned me. And if it's not one of your men, you've got a serious problem here. Hmm. Do you want to tell that then? I'll just sit here and wait for you to come back. 
Ah, that would be very good. Uh, you don't mind? I, I do no. apologise. Um, you, you say his name was... Uh, he said he was Detective Alexander? Yeah, James, James Alexander. I'll, I'll give a very quick description of him. Yeah, I, yeah. I was going to give him a description yeah. as well. Okay. He gets up and he goes out. Um, and literally a couple of minutes later, he's, he comes back in on his phone and he's kind of puts his phone down for a second. Um, CCTV's down. And we uh, have no Detective Alexander here. Uh, and nobody meeting your description. Nobody's seen... The desk sergeant thinks he saw him about 40 minutes ago, but didn't see him leave. Um, have you still got your, that, that card that he gave you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, business card. This is the business uh, card he gave me. Take a photo of it first, though. He looked at it. And, and to your eye, because you're not really used to this, you know, police station address and, you know, business card and Detective Alexander, you know, uh, Detective J. Alexander, um, mobile phone number, et cetera, station number. Um, and it looks like a genuine sort of police card. And he kind of looks at it and he, he turns it over and he says, uh, oh, interesting. We haven't issued cards like this for about five years. This is the old logo. Okay, can I take it back for one second? Hands it back to you. I'll fold it up on it. Who, who are you? Uh, I, my name's Mark Silvers. I, I was asked to come in. You put pictures up on the TV about me being a person of interest. Pictures? I want to come and try. There's been notice on the TV asking for anyone that sees me to contact the police. So I came in to try and get it cleared up. Why would we do that? Why wouldn't we phone you? That's what I asked him, strangely enough. But he... I don't know. But yeah, somebody's we, we... had the power to put my photo out on national TV. Well, there's not many people with that power. Uh, no. Chief Inspector would need to sign off on that one. Um, not done that. I mean, I, 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 I just understood... You wanted. What's this about? That's what I came in to find out. Now, your fake detective said it's to do with a lady that jumped off a car oh, uh, uh, a few nights um, ago. Erwin, yes. Um, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, best we can tell. Um, she chose the other night to. And he kind of pauses and just shrugs. We not looking for anybody suspicious. CCTV corroborates the fact that she jumped. So you actually got footage of her jumping. Yes. Very okay. sad. No, no, no animals up there with with her. Animals. Yeah, like a big dog. No, no. It looks like she waited. Uh, she did look over her shoulder just before she jumped, but we assumed that was to make sure there was nobody watching that could stop her. Are you saying there was an animal there? Uh, it's just what this big detective implied. Well, hmm. So what's your relationship to Miss Irving? Are you a friend? I haven't got one. No, I haven't got one. That was what I came to try and clear up. Oh. oh, hang on a minute. And he, he kind of flicks through the... A uh, gentleman that spoke to uh, Officer Johnson uh, a couple of nights ago. Yes. Yeah. That's why it's all the desk sergeant. And that's probably why I'm speaking to you. Um, Officer Johnson is currently on a... taking a couple of days of... of uh, Medical leave. Um, oh. I hope he's he all okay? right. He seemed, yeah, he seemed like a nice bloke. Uh, sometimes the job and, and the things that we see on the job just, you know, yeah, we need to take some good. time to just decompress. And I think this was one of those times. I think he he was one of the first officers on scene and, and unfortunately um, the, yeah. the site has pushed him a little bit. Um, so... According to Officer Johnson, he spoke to you. Um, 
you mentioned that you were perhaps on a date with her oh um, no that was me it was, a bl- it was a blind date that somebody said blind date that's right that's exactly yeah. yes um date yes that's that's i can't read officer johnson's writing sometimes um he just said everything seemed above board yeah so um, we wouldn't put a photo out for you you're not wanted for anything uh, um i'm confused i'm sure if you contact uh Whoever you'd contact to put photos up, they can give you some more information. You might be able to track down this fake detective of yours. Well, we'll definitely look into that. Um, uh, but I'm guessing maybe that wasn't his name? Probably not. But uh, either way, my photos being put, put across the national TV, uh, and I want it removed. Oh, obviously, sir. We can definitely make that happen. Um, assuming it was us that put it up there, but I will figure a way out for you. Um, anyway, anyhow, we can contact you just in case we need uh, more information. I don't think we will, yeah, sure. um, but are you happy for us to have your number? Yes, yeah, you've I'll already the got it. Number. Okay, all right. You re emphasize your number. Well, gentlemen, please, let's get you out of here. Um, don't need just, to be here any longer than you already have been. Just out, I, sorry, just out of interest, sir. Um, Officer Johnson, you said he was a bit... He's on medical leave. What, what, yeah. He seemed all right when we spoke to him. That's the strangest thing. And you said he was yeah. first on the scene. He Maybe. seemed a very st- upright and straightforward person who's, who's dealt with this sort of thing over many years, as you yourself had just said. Yeah. Uh, but he seemed he seemed all right. Uh, well, we, we we got a call from him uh, yesterday morning uh, saying that he was struggling, that he was going to go and see um, uh, his doctor uh, and possibly get an appointment with the um, psychiatrist, the staff uh, psychiatrist. Really well. I told him to take two or three days and to come back at the end of the week and let me know how he was doing. I'd suggest, in lieu of the fact that you've got a fake detective going around, you might send someone around to just to check he's okay. If he's dragging people in off the streets to interrogate them, someone that was actually there, he might be doing the same type of thing. Well, okay, I can do that. Um, strange, but yes. Wouldn't do it yeah. I could do that. Uh, what's on, what's now, left, sir? Uh, we well, didn't get his first day, did we? You no, get it's back to Collins. Yeah, it's back to Collins. No, no, sorry, to, uh, Johnson. Oh, no, you didn't, uh, no. No, no. No, Officer Johnson's all we've got. Oh, this is Inspector Mark Collins, remember? Yeah. I'm just, I, you can hear me typing frantically. I'm just making notes. So I've got to keep track of everything that's popping up. <laughs> Alpha, this isn't, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, all right. Collins takes you back out to the front desk and shakes your hand, apologizes for the inconvenience and the confusion that seems to be happening. Uh, thanks you again for at least coming in and, and taking some time and sets you back off on your way. Thank you. Oh, that was a bloody palaver. Yeah. So is this James Alexander? Good guy, bad guy, MI6? Well, let's put it this way, mate. He's snuck in here. He's interviewed you. He's given you his card, so it's a, it's a brassy one. Yeah, and, but it's an old also, card. It's an he also got rid of... CCTV at moment's notice. Yeah. Someone with power. And you should have seen the picture out of that bloody dog. It's huge. Thanks. Hmm. 
Well, the plot thickens, as they say. So he, he, he seems quite interesting. So maybe it was one of her partners. Maybe that was Tate himself who, who he said. Could be. Uh, could be but I'll tell her you handler what. from MI6. Could be. I'll tell you what, Mark. That... I'm pretty damn sure it's a person that came into her apartment last night. Okay. Yeah, if you tell by the way he walked. The way he moved. That's too much of a coincidence, that. Yeah. We do find out who he is, but again, are there the CCTVs there? And it's all that rubbish he came up with about her selling information. Yeah. So, it does kind of tie in with what we know about her. Oh, well, no, it doesn't. That she because... would have information, but not necessarily yeah, but she selling seems... it like that. She, from what I've seen of her, from, from, even just from the garage, she was trying to find out if we were trustworthy, which means yeah. she is more interested in knowing honesty. If you... oh, it's hard to put this in words, mate, but you only got to Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. Yeah. If she's just going to try and screw two people over, she wouldn't uh, be worried about that. No. I won't mind going back to her apartment and just seeing if that box is still in the garage. It would be interesting if it's gone. Uh, we got the things that tied us to it. I know we're we're all clean from there. I mean, the, he he's picked up on what's been going on. He, he, it sounds like this Alexander bloke's been following this from day one. Possibly. And if he's got access to the police station, he's got access to to records about you. But who sent me the message regarding the other woman? Well, that's the someone. Old... This could be the Tate that he was on about, or. I think think this guy's uh, cleaning things up. I think that's why I want to go. I want my going. Like I said, that's why I want my going back to her apartment. See if that what what's gone, what's been moved. Yeah. But then now he's been there. Is he watching the place? Are they watching the place? Whoever they are. Could be both now. For all we know. Hmm. We need to speak to some people and get some things moving. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's time to pull out some feelers. Some bring some old friends in to help us. That sound like it. We need more resources as well. That's exactly what I was thinking. More resources. Get get people in. Who we know. Call in some favours. All right. I think, given my jet lag status right now, we'll call it a night there. As you are leaving the police station and heading back towards Sam's part flat apartment. Yeah. All right. So a short session tonight, gents. And apologies for that. No, no, that's fine. On the way back, we'll go shopping. I'm on the way back, to... go shopping. Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah. Just have a think about what you want to get your hands on. And let me know. I'm starting to rack up loads of clues. I've got to figure out how they're all interlinked. But that's not a problem. I'm going to spitball a contact or two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, have a think about that next week. Let me know. We can start off there. Um... Hmm. There are lots of plots within plots within plots here. Got a bit mired down in the middle of there, just scratching my head trying to go with what my character would know. Yeah. I would imagine, you know, in my head, I would imagine that as Spec Ops people, 
you have probably worked with MI6 before, you know, just as special forces in the US would have worked with CIA. Just... Mm. 